everyone, and welcome to the GSN Podcast. It's Big Boss here, and we've taken a little bit of a break. I know you've missed us. I've missed you. But I'm joined with my friends as normal. Factor! And boy, howdy, do we have a lot of things to talk about. Dear Lord, uh, what has it been, like a month now? Uh, yeah, well, we, you know, important <clears throat> things are happening with Dragon Ball Super and other things, you know. So, I mean, March 28th was the last one. Oof, it's almost been a month. So, a uh, little fun fact, by the way, before we start the show. Uh, been playing a lot of Fortnite, and your boy is in the top 10. That's right, top 10 overall in singles, like real talk. And I'm 12th in duos. You know, me if, and I cared, if I cared about Fortnite at all, I'd be really impressed. But congratulations. Thank oh, you, uh, thank PC? You, thank you. On uh, PlayStation. But PlayStation and PC share the same ranking system, so. <clears throat> I'm proud. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little accomplishment, you know, just to toot my own horn. I've probably gone down since last I checked, but when I checked two days ago, I was eight. So I was like, I mean, The amount of people that play Fortnite, uh, the, if you're on a particular leaderboard, it's not going to be like that for very long. Well, here's the hoping, right? Because I'm going to probably play some more. We're actually going to probably try to play the uh, Cliffy B's new game, the uh, Radical Heights. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, Son of a there's a couple... Bitch. What? Uh, yeah? Huh? What? My bad. I, I, d- 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 y- y- okay. Yeah, I don't know. Some, something's going down in Factor's place. <laughs> Is my, it terrorists? My bad. Is it Al-Qaeda? No. It's, oh, okay. Is it you trying to play the game while we're doing the podcast? Is that what it is? <laughs> it's a shotgun to the face. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> it, it's about to be Christy, probably. She's oh, gonna, Lord. She's going to hear that 3 o'clock at night while she's trying. Listen, don't make, me, don't make me text Christy and tell her to slap you for playing the game while we're, while we're trying to do our show here. I'm not it's playing. Stop. Uh-huh. I'm spectating. Yeah, I'm, not, oh, yeah. I'm not playing. Because you died. That's what that <laughs> means, you jerk. Oh, uh, Lord. Well, speak to, right, clear, speaking I'm, of enormous clear, dicks, clear, all right, clear. speaking of giant cops, if it were, uh, As we tend to go most of the time people, in the show. What? As we tend to go to most times in the show to start off with. It's something that has to do with a Dick. enormous something. An enormous dick. Well, this time it's a normal dick. And no, it's not a portrait of Kyle. I know that's what you're thinking. In fact, you're, you know, it's not, it's not a portrait of you. It's just a giant blue dick. Uh, five stories tall, to be precise. Not mine. <laughs> we, uh, no. we know, Ben. Yours would be like two inches. And it'd be like <laughs> a mouse hole cover. <laughs> this is a crack in the, in the brick. <laughs> oh, man. But this is a pretty big dick. I'm not going to lie. Five stories, pretty big. And a lot of attention to detail. I mean, this bitch is veiny as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you, you can click the link, guys. Look at the picture here. Well, like, I don't want to. What are you saying? They studied the image of a dick for quite a while, or it's like a self reflection of some dude's dick because, like, there's things on there that only a guy with a dick would know they had. You know, <laughs> I would hate to see the chick who's seen a dick that well that many times. Oh, apparently <laughs> this is not the only five-story dick painting. <laughs> apparently this has been like all over like small boroughs and stuff. Some in uh, Stockholm, some in New York. Uh, it's just a giant dick. Apparently New York's is red. So, a little fun fact. Why is it red? I yeah, don't know. I, I guess they... Ran out of blue. I mean, drawing a five-story dick, they, a blue they were, dick would probably they were, take a lot of paint. They were tracking the blue paint, and they were trying to avoid that probably, you know, so they changed it up on a different color. No. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to get, like, the attention of somebody, like, that is a way to do it. Yeah, five-story dick is going to get a lot of attention. 
especially in New York. Because <laughs> what would you do? What would you do? Honestly, hand to God, you, you you had a long day at work, right? You're driving home, you park. You know, you open the door because you don't even look. You're kind of just like that kind of zoned out. You drop something. You're like, oh, someone bitch, I dropped something. You, you you bend down, you pick it up, and then you look up. And on the side of your building, like your apartment building, the whole side from the bottom to the top is a giant blue dick just painted on the side. You know what? I doubt that would even faze me because I hate to see it, say it, but I've probably seen worse. I would be more concerned as long as it, my apartment wasn't on the side where the dick is. No, in my luck, my apartment window would be like right in the middle of it. <laughs> what if your apartment building would be the tip? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's my luck. And then everyone's going to be down and pointing up, and I'm just going to feel like they're pointing at my fucking apartment the whole time. <laughs> I would have fun with it. I'd wear like white clothes and be like, woo! I get like uh, silly strings, start shooting it off the tip. Like, <laughs> dude, that would be like my Twitter picture for like ever. <laughs> Just you in front of a giant dick. Do you know how many selfies I would take? <laughs> a fair amount. I would take a, a guess. I would try like all different poses and different things that I could possibly do with the image. It'd be great. Um, It'd be great if you had a drone. You could fly it out your own apartment and take pictures of you at the top of your dick. But Ed, I need to borrow your drone for a minute. <laughs> What's up, y'all? In front of the big blue dick. Oh <laughs> uh, Lord, what would be your intro for that? Like, how would you greet the people? Like, give me your intro. What's up? That's it. What's up? <laughs> Go Bravo. Amazing. Up. My mind isn't any better. You know, once you go blue, you don't go back. I mean, that doesn't well, even I mean, make that kind of works for his name, too. Who, Blues? Yeah. Because mm. it's a giant blue dick. His nickname is Blue. Kind of works. Just saying. And no, I am not responsible for a big blue dick on the side of someone's building. We've already established that. So... Got a new story for you guys. You know, we we all work together from time to time, and uh, we we've all crop dusted before. You know, we've all done a drive by. You know, oh, it's a it's a game with us. What are you talking about? We've done it. <laughs> well, apparently, this guy in Australia and his boss didn't quite get along. Apparently, his boss had made a habit of crop dusting him. And he sued his boss for one point eight million dollars for workplace bullying for and I quote malicious flatulence. You know the sad thing is I can actually see that happening. Like I yeah. legit can see that happening. You know what? The like, sad thing is like just I thinking about been. it, like just off just at the top of my head, because everybody knows my story when it comes to where I worked at a number of years ago. If Mark had been doing that to me, I'd have done that just to laugh in his face. I want $1.8 million because you wanted to try to fart around me. Just because I hated the guy so much. I'd come up with some well, reason to stick it to him. See, Apparently. I, now, go ahead, Blue. I, I'm sad to admit if I could be that boss, I would. I would fart at my the person I hated as an employee. I would fart at their desk every fucking time I walked by. Because shit on them. I'd do it now. So so the the guy who's suing his boss, right, claims that his supervisor would repeatedly hold him down and fart on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's worthy of a suit. He claimed, he claimed uh, it honestly. Resulted, the results re- resulted in depression, anxiety, and physical injuries. You know, wanted y'all laugh. Dollars in damages. Y'all laugh, but that could be a legit case. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can and, see it. Uh, some of like some witnesses say he would lift his bum up and fart. So you know how like you do that one legged, you you lift your leg up and then you just rip ass. You know that that move. You know mm-hmm. the, the one leg lift and fart. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Can you get an image here? 
I don't well, want to. Apparently, yeah. Well, you you guys have done it. Don't give me that. I don't want to visualize it. Shit. You you guys have done it. You guys know it. I've done it. You've done it. You've done it. People at home have done it. It's it's both genders have done it. We've all done the lift leg and fart move. Tell Can't me you haven't. I'll call you fucking liar. Can't right? prove it. You're fucking liar. <laughs> okay. So apparently. Of course, the defendant, the the boss, is saying, I've never done that. But I have farted on the guy. He admitted to that. But he yeah, never like, held him down and never did anything like that. And the Australian Supreme Court. Nice, Blue. Nice. You. It's great for the ears. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to sue you for $1.8 million now uh, for, you know, damages to my ear. It's going to be a while, just so you know. Anyway, the Victoria's Supreme Court, uh, this is in Australia, by the way, uh, has said that farting in the workplace is not bullying. It's just part of Australian humor. Part of a... Boy, let that happen in the United States, and I promise you. I promise you the person's going to have to pay $1.8 million. Yep, in a heartbeat. (laughs) The court did. (laughs) The way workplace harassment is going around nowadays anyhow, that's just like... Yeah, I can see that. Maybe we should all move to Australia. I mean, think about it. Like, what if it was like one of you guys and you were working for me and we were in the office and we didn't get along at all. We hated each other. And, like I do now? And, 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 yeah. Okay. So, and you just happen to be in the so office and I, and I walk over to you and I pin you down to the ground and I put my ass right in your face and just start letting rip. <laughs> and I did it on a constant if basis. Could, if you could do that. And me not fight back, I would just let it happen. But the thing is, you wouldn't pin me down. <laughs> the second your hands would be on me, there'd be there'd be issue. <laughs> One of us is going to be crippled, and I guarantee it's not going to be me. <laughs> but if you think about it, it classifies as a workplace harassment, though. Am I right? See, I'm just not gonna, Australia. Don't. <laughs> I'm just going to play the uh, play the guilt trip on you guys. Be like, oh, you're picking on someone with lung disease. Can't fight back, big man. Mm-hmm. See, you use that excuse too much, and it numbs it. <laughs> but anyway, real quick, check this out. The court actually called the boss, uh, labeled him as Mr. Stinky, and at one stage of the court, while they were in court, they just sprayed the, the no, they sprayed him with deodorant. They just <laughs> sat him down and just sprayed the shit out of him with deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> and uh the court's decision says they did not accept the plaintiff's evidence about the frequency of mr short's flatulence in the office that was targeted at the plaintiff when you crop dust you crap dust you right. can't target you can't you cannot control a fart at one singular person and there's no evidence saying that he pinned him down on the ground or whatever and nobody in the office Admitted. They admitted that he did fart. He did crop dust all the time. Everyone admitted that, but no one, you know, claimed the whole pinning down thing. Oh, God. Uh, uh, the trial lasted hey, for 18 we... days, and they had 15 witnesses over, <laughs> hey, over real, this. Real fast, can we get Mr. Stinky's, like, uh, name or address, mailing address and, like, send him a bottle of, like, spray deodorant from America? That'd be great. This is for your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Can you imagine you're in court? All right, Mr. Stinky. Like, uh, my name is actually... Uh, no, no, your name's now Mr. Stinky. Let the court record show that your name is now Mr. Stinky. <laughs> they would call yeah. out his alias if that is considered an alias. Uh, dude. No, that's just what the court called <laughs> They just labeled him. Hey, <laughs> if we have a listener in Australia or New Zealand in that area of the world that can get us that information, like to mail this guy or something like deodorant or whatever from America, I will totally compensate you. <laughs> oh my god. I I <laughs> I can understand a team effort, like if a team of people would hold to holding down a, an adult person is no small feat. Like what? 
especially if you want to assume the fart in the face position, because yeah, you're that, leaving you yourself wide open. open. You you need like a squad of people to help yeah. you. Otherwise, you know? hands are going to junk, and you're going to be like screaming in the high. Like pitch. even even your factor, you're a pretty big guy. You know, I'm not saying you're fat. I'm just saying you're a big guy. You know, he's fluffy. You tr- yeah, he's extraordinarily fluffy. He's also playing that fucking game. No, yeah, <laughs> he's not talking. Exactly. I'm not playing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. No, he sounds yeah. so. I'm not playing. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm, I'm legit not playing. Oh, uh-huh. that's, sure. that's why we hear the. No. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> For anybody who wants to know, that is Factor's lying voice. <laughs> no. <laughs> See how he follows it up with a little <laughs> chuckle and then yes, the, the guilty laugh. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's his guilty laugh. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, bitch. No. Anyway, Factor, you, you're trying to hold me down, right? Say yeah. say the whole office thing, we don't like each other. You're trying to hold me down, gas me in the face, right? That's going to take some effort on your part not to get punched in the dick, right? I would hope so. So, <laughs> yes, it could be like one of those just right in the butt like sniff <laughs> like a dog <laughs> now what would happen if that was the case right you thought you were going to bully somebody and then somebody just brown nose you hard <laughs> like you feel nose to butthole <laughs> well like, like they legit just go along with it like not so much go along with it like they go head first like you 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 feel a little poke going inside with the nose, that type of or impact. finger. Oh yeah, what if they give the old finger, the old it, the old it, turning forty? Yeah, no, it was it like the Jap- the Japanese for a while had that thing I know an anime. Thing. Oh, that uh, cartoon. I, that, no, it's a a game children play. It's where they like take their finger and, and try like, to shove it up each other's balls. There's a statue. <laughs> There's a statue about it for crying out loud from the 18th century in a town's village. It is pretty funny, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So what? Go ahead, Factor. I, I I don't know. Like I, I mean, I'm just like, would you feel violated? <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you telling me your friend never tried to shove their fingers up your asshole? No, Ben. I can't say that they have. <laughs> Nobody tried to diddle for Kyle. It's okay. <laughs> I think Boomy has diddled you. No. Yeah, Boomy diddled you. Okay. No, no. Boomy's alter ego is the diddler. <laughs> I would believe it if you'd seen Boomy. <laughs> what was that oh supposed to mean? He looks like a diddler, apparently. That's what that means. <laughs> now, moving on to the next story. Which is also about a failed lawsuit, I believe. <clears throat> I mean, I can talk about that. I was actually going to talk about uh, missing marijuana. Oh, okay. Well, they're both bad problems. So oh. apparently the police force in Argentina had uh, had a missing marijuana problem. They lost nearly 1,200 pounds of marijuana mm-hmm. from one of their uh, storage warehouses. They lost- and uh, you know who they found to be the culprit? They conveniently lost it. Oh, I wonder who had it. Uh, Factor, you want to take a shot on who stole the weed? My guess. Somebody from the police department? Nope. The mayor. Blue, you want to take a shot? Um, uh, so I'm going to go with something more corrupt and darker. Eternal affairs. No. Even cuddlier. Apparently, mice had eaten 1,191 pounds of marijuana. Then apparently there was a lot of mice corpses. <laughs> like They had to have come from our office. Um, <laughs> they had to have come from our office, all that sugar, and then they go straight to the weed. <laughs> they were yeah, they, they pulled a bunch of their, no, they 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 ate the weed. They wanted something sweet, so they came to our office. <laughs> no, I, I know what it is. They ate the weed. They got the munchies, so they ate more weed, and they died from weed poisoning. Oh my god! Can you imagine? Like 
this this gone on for a couple months, right? But holy crap, that's a shit ton of weed. That's a pound. That's a ton of weed. Quite literally, a ton of weed. A ton would be two thousand pounds. Is it? Yes. What am I thinking? Then it's half. Well, still, I have a ton of weed. Like, I mean, how, how much? much what's how much the street value of weed? I like how much money for that? It all depends on what kind it is. Just ballpark it at the lowest or average. Well, let's. If only we knew. Oh God, my Google search history is going to uh, take another uh, knock. Look, I, I am like it's not already white. screwed at this point. Yeah, I'm clearly super white, so I don't know this information off the top of my head. I wouldn't even know where to what look. About? Wait, wait, because you're white, you wouldn't know about that. You know, white people were the I'm biggest a white person around anyway. with a lung disease. How much experience do you think I have smoked? A, a ton. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, let's see. A pound of weed, or 16 ounces, is $4,480. Oh my god, 1,200 pounds of that. So, anybody got a calculator open? Help me out here? Sure, go for it. So, what's 4,480 times (laughs) 1,200? 5.4 5.4 million. So they ate 5.4 million dollars in weed. Good God. <laughs> that, I, am, that, I just got I like am, this. I just got like this image of like a high ratatouille. <laughs> just, it's ratatouille. Like it's the same scene with all the mice and everything, but they're smoking. And then when they get busted, they're like, well, oh, man, be cool, bro. What, what was the, the you remember fuck? you remember the movie Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. You yes. remember the beginning of that movie where he was doing the voice acting over the over the cartoon and it was a cat and mouse cartoon and the mouse mm-hmm. was sitting in the like a lampshade and he was smoking a cigarette. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. There's your image of him just smoking through all that weed. <laughs> that is oh a my lot god. Of fucking money. Now Imagine this, right? Because eight police officers were in charge of this warehouse, right? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine being the guy, like, it's like, eh, you know, no break-ins at the warehouse. Like, like they probably patrol the warehouse, make sure none of the locks are tampered with. Yeah, it's oh, good. They obviously know? don't go in. Yeah, right? they, they probably never gone in there once in all this time, right? And then... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just I just imagine some street dealer has got this news about losing five point four million poss- possible profits. I'll be trying to find out like where all those rat turds are that are now probably laced. Oh yeah, we could get them to uh, Anthony because we all know he likes to smoke a turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But Jesus, can you imagine the trouble? Like, all right, we actually got a chick inside, you know, blah 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 blah, and they look and there's like. Just crumbs and dead mice no. everywhere and turds, probably like six inches tall. That seems the thing. I, I picture that the weed is probably stacked on a pallet, like yeah. most shipping things, you know, because. Yeah, you know, but they're, you're, they're usually secured, though, with like a wrapping. Yeah, like it's shrink wrapped, you know, in packages of however many kilos or pounds and then stacked up, you know, on a pallet. And that probably shrink wrapped, too. So I imagine, like, the mice had been eating in one corner specifically until the shrink wrap gave away because they'd eaten so much of the bottom, it, it tipped over. That's how I imagine it. <laughs> there goes blue in the eyes of a rat. <laughs> <laughs> a very oh sober rat. <laughs> so moving on to our next topic. Uh, there's a, This is... No, Blue, I apologize. You're going to be a little squeamish, but uh-huh. we, 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 we like fast food, right? We like burgers. We like fries. We like hot dogs, rats, uh, that kind a, of thing, right? I had a uh, Highway 55 burger yesterday, man. That was good. So we're, we're no stranger. You know, we all like our toppings on burgers. Some like the full Monty, you know, like lettuce, tomato, cheese, ketchup, mustard, you know, People go crazy with it. Some people put like chili, 
you know, uh, bacon, uh, like different types of cheese and hot sauces and stuff. But uh, what do you think the most extreme thing would be you would put on a burger? Uh, <clears throat> Did he leave the table? Probably. <laughs> Oh dear Lord! Uh, um, I don't know, probably probably something foreign, like like a foreign animal or like a rat or something. Well, you wouldn't be too far off. How about a tarantula on your burger? I don't even know how that would taste. Well, apparently there is this guy. Uh, there's a restaurant called Bull City Burgers and Brewery. And they have an annual exotic meat month, and you have to get a ticket to get it, and you have to be called in ahead, and the burger will run you about thirty bucks. And if you eat it, you get a cremet, cremet, uh, Jesus, if I could speak English, cremet. Wow, I you cannot say that word right now. Commemorative sounded out. T-shirt. <laughs> commemorative t-shirt uh so for all that, I, would get, I would just get a t-shirt you get a t-shirt and a burger that tastes that has a little tarantula on top of it so would you do it no no you wouldn't why not all that for all i would get was a t-shirt man i'll, I'll you have my five say you, ate, you you have a delicious burger with the topping of tarantula on top i mean that's no, you, who who could say you could done that, right? I'll say I haven't done it because I'm not. I wouldn't do it. Now here's the other toppings, right? From rotating menus, they have rabbit, python, camel. Okay, but apparently their spider burger is all the rage right now. I don't see how that's like. <sighs> There's like not enough meat to make a burger out of a freaking spider. No, it's a topping. You still have the burger. The tarantula is the topping, like the but cheese you put still, on top like, of a burger. That's, that's a topping. Like, did how? you did you not even click the link that I sent you there, Bubby? No, but I'm just I'm trying to think. Like, click it, click it, you son of a bitch, <sighs> click it. I just don't Look understand at how. Oh, it's not Lord. a small spider. It's a big boy. Well, I know it's a big boy. I'm just hold on. Where's the? Look at it. Look, look at it and enjoy. Cause I'd eat it. I'd try it, and I'm scared to death of spiders. Only because it. I would want to say, "Yeah, I ate it." What about it? Oh, I Boom. think I, I think I found it. There it is. It's it's hard to miss. It's the only one with a spider on top of the burger. Yeah, no, I, I just clicked on it. Yeah, no. I'm and good. you wouldn't eat it? No. What? Oh, man, I would. But do you see where it's based out of? <laughs> why is it got to be North Carolina? Like, why does it have to be here? <laughs> it is good old North Kakalaki. North Carolina, that's right, the state we live in, serving this delectable, delightful little sandwich. That's not even delightful. That it looks good. How that looks good to you? Yeah. I guarantee you that spider's so got like all types of I herb and seasoning on it. That would it's cost like me thirty dollars to flavor. eat that. They no, nah, they've lost their mind. Why? What's so bad about it? I'd rather go to like McDonald's and get like a a dollar ninety nine <laughs> burger than something like that, man. Uh that looks good, man. It looks, it looks good like it can still move. Oh, <laughs> uh, that'd be half the fun. Eat it while it's alive. Kill it before it can kill you. Yeah, nah, you're that, nope. <laughs> oh Lord, we might post this uh, on the. Uh the old Twitter page, see who would eat it. Would you eat a tarantula burger? Cast your votes now. Oh, yeah, that, that'd that be a good poll question. Oh, my. You know, actually, speaking of fast food, guys, uh, I've actually got a couple fast food stories to tell. 
<clears throat> I've got uh, the zombie that took my order. The who? I've got the zombie who took my order. I have the robot error. And I also have the jackpot. What story would you like to hear? Uh, let's go with the zombie. All right. So uh, I went to Hardy's. And Hardee's has got this new thing going on. They've got these little, like, White Castle burgers they're serving, you know? They got, like, a single patty, a double patty, and a triple patty. And I was like, you know what? I want me some fucking tiny cheeseburgers, man. Those things are good as hell. And, fun fact, side note, they are delicious. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Fries, though, suck dick. Just get the little burgers. You will not go wrong. So, anyway, uh... Every week, I try to hang out with the old family, so we try to do something together, and we go bowling. And uh, we went to the uh, only bowling alley in town, and there's a Hardee's really nearby. Yeah, it's like right so there in the had, same parking lot. Yep, yep. And I hadn't eaten that day, so I was like, you know what? Time to pop in the old Hardee's, grab a quick bite while I'm waiting for the old folks so we can all bowl together, have a good family time. So I get to the order window, and you know how they usually hit you with that? you know, automated messaging, like, thank you for, you know, coming to Wendy's or McDonald's. Would you like to try our blah, 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 blah? Because it's all pre-recorded. And then you have the person and then the regular actually person behind there. In, yeah. You know, so it, 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 the, the fanfare, the usual blah, 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 blah. Would you like to try our new fish fillet sandwiches? Blah, blah. I'm like, ah, no, thank you. And then I'm greeted with this. I don't know how I, can I take your order? And I'm like, um, uh, hi, uh, yes. What would you like? Um, can <laughs> I get the tiny cheeseburgers? Okay. I mean, you uh... are. And I, I was taken aback. It was so cold and distant. Like, literally, there was no life in that person. Like, there was a shadow master puppeteering this person. And they're like, all right. It kind of sounded like the Monsters Lady from Monsters Incorporated. Mike Wazowski. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this lady had no life in her whatsoever. And I thought it was a dude at first. I thought it was like, mm-hmm, I'm that kind of guy. You know, kind of gargled through the mic. It was a lady. And <laughs> when the lady... Like, you know how there's that little, that middle little two-second interaction where they put that fake smile on and that'll be blah, 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 blah. The lady looks at me straight in my face, doesn't say a word, just looks straight into my soul and puts her hand out. And I'm like, I guess I'll, here's my card. Don't go over my order at all then. All right. Okay. Rings the card up. Doesn't say anything. Staring at me the whole time. Not, she's like doing stuff on the terminal, looking straight at me the whole time. And I'm looking at her like with my Mickey Mouse face, like, what? you know, just staring right at her. Not, not even one micro motion in the face. And Dude, you, you take it better than I would have, because I would have been like, well, I'm not handing you nothing until you say something to me. It was uh, a little I slap her hand like, it, like, it oh, a, like I thought you wanted a high five. My bad. No, it was it was a bit shocking. Like, it it was kind of like that stun. Like, is this really happening right now? Type thing. Am I getting punked? Like, that's where you kind of this like that kind of surreal moment. And I was like, no, this has got to be like some sort of show, right? I'm looking around, looking behind me and stuff. And she wasn't rude. She just didn't say anything. And like, she gave me my receipt. You know, she didn't, like, throw it at me or anything like that. She, you know, gave it to me, took it, and, you know, two minutes later, of just awkward silence, she hands me my food. You know, it's the correct thing, and I move along. But, God, it was one of the most uncomfortable experiences ever. Like, I don't know if she was there. I don't know if she was strung out on drugs. I, I don't know what happened. So strung, man, there was no life in those eyes she, at all. She was strung out of having to be there today. It's like a weekend at Bernie's. That's what her face looked like. 
Like her whole body posture was weekends at Bernie's. Like if she would have wore sunglasses, I would have think, okay, where's the voodoo curse? Where's the music playing? You know, that's how it's making the body move. Man, oh my goodness like, gracious! Yeah, it better not would because I would have been, you know, I I tend to have a reputation. Do you now? Yeah. You a reputation though. I know thing? you have a reputation of blowing up the bathroom. Yeah, you do there. <laughs> well, 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 in a, in a way, yeah. in a way. Oh my! <laughs> On occasion, I'll put it that way. On occasion. So, do you want to hear about my? Uh, you want to go to the next news story, or do you want to hear about my jackpot in the fast food industry? Your jackpot? Mm-hmm. Let's go that one. All right. So, I went to the old Taco Bell, you know. I was oh. feeling like a, uh, a steak burrito, and um, they had, like, this $5 box where you get, like, a, a burrito, a soft taco, a taco, a drink, and, like, the little churros. So, it's, like, the $5 box or whatever, mm-hmm. which... By the way, fun fact, there's another box that is not a $5 box, and they're very misleading on the two. So I tell the lady, uh, I, want the, I want the fancy $5 box because it has like a bigger burrito, and they, it's like the cantina, whatever, you know, like the fresher ingredients. You know, it's got the guacamole in it. It's got all the extra gubbins and stuff that I come to accustom and like on my burritos and such. Um... So there's like a, it's a packed queue, right? Like there's people in front of me. There's like 30 cars behind me. It was just like, today was the day to go to Taco Bell. And I just happened to slip like right on in. Like, cause you know, in our Taco Bell, it's in that uh, Harris Cedar parking lot. Yeah. yeah little, and it's kind of space. Yeah. But you know how you have to sometimes circle <laughs> around to get back into the line, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I had just happened to slip in before, like, I could see all these cars pulling in, like, on the other side of 15501. And I just happened to squeeze my car right before they got to it, so I was able to squeeze on in. But I could see there was a line behind me, like, probably, like, 10 cars deep. I was like, holy shit, I got here just in time. So I make my order, and uh, I guess they were understaffed or whatever. Dude, Taco Bell's like that. You you place your order, you're not going to get it within 10 minutes anyway. Well, yeah. no, no. Listen, listen. No, I, call no, this story, I call this story the jackpot story for a reason. So hold on to your hats here, fellas. That's so, I had bad Taco Bell experience the other day, too. Mine wasn't bad. This is called the jack, jackpot blue. Hold on. Let's rewind the tape here. Yeah, jackpot. I know. You, you've no, no, no. How many luck. bad jackpots have you had to to put that? you know, word association together. Enlighten me on that. Factor, have you ever had a bad jackpot? Yeah, I have. <laughs> okay, let, I want to hear. Like, it all depends your bad on what jackpot? type of jackpot we're talking about here, because I've had some I won $382 at a casino in Reno when I was truck driving. I went down the road uh, 30 minutes later and got a $370 ticket. Well, that's not... <laughs> That's not the jackpot's fault. That's your fucking poor driving skills. I wouldn't have gotten the ticket at the way station if I hadn't stayed to play the slot machine. Well, that's just poor life choices. Then. Dude, that's, <laughs> you can't blame that's that on the jackpot, the jackpot, dude. <laughs> that's like, you can't blame the jackpot for that. I do, okay? I do. Okay. What about you, Fed? You've had a bad jackpot? Um... Not, I won't say it like it's really like a jackpot, but um, a bad. Uh, no, I stop haven't. playing Radical Heights and listen to us. <laughs> I'm not. I'm honestly not playing. I, I've already turned. The, I've already turned it back. Yeah, the main he's, menu. he's watching spectator. No, I'm already, yeah, because you died. I'm not spectating anymore either. Why does it say uh, KOD X Factor uh, in game? <laughs> You know nothing. Uh huh. So, anyway, to my story. Full line. People are scrambling in that Taco Bell, right? Just absolutely. Did you go in into the drive-through? Say what? 
Did you go inside or did you go to the drive through I went through the drive through but the line was moving, right? And you know how you can see through the window, like, when they, before they take your card, you can see through that little gap in the window and mm-hmm. just, just see people going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it's my turn to pay. I give her my card. Nervous girl, swamped, probably her first day. I get my food. I get one bag of food, which I'm like, oh, I thought it came in a box, but I didn't say anything. And I got another bag of food. He, want, he wants the box. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I think I get a box. Because the second bag, I was like, oh, man, don't tell me they put everything in an individual bag, right? That was not the case. Uh, she giving you everyone else's food? Yes. Yes, she did. She gave me <laughs> three other people's food and then my food. <laughs> <laughs> and made a mistake on the register. She looked and I at ended you, up boy. She, twenty dollars. She looked at you and said, "Let's find out about you. Not gonna be enough." <laughs> Did you hear me, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> so I got my five dollar box plus three other meals and twenty bucks. Because I looked at the receipt and it was like negative twenty, and I'm like, "What?" Then I looked at my bank statement. Like, because I pulled up the app, because I pulled into the parking lot. It's like, man, I got a shit ton of food. This $5 box meal is the shit, right? And I look at it. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. I look at the bank. I had received $20 on Taco Bell <laughs> and a shit ton of food. <laughs> that, what my sir, was the jackpot. <laughs> this shit, I was like, she looked, she, she looked at you and said, oh, sweetheart, this $5 box isn't going to be enough food here. Let me get you hers <laughs> and his and hers and his. Oh, my God. Can you imagine, <laughs> A, the people behind me and probably the people in front of me that are like, we're missing like four burritos. What the fuck is going on? Did you, did you not go back in and have them corrected or anything? Hell no. I just took my happy ass... I parked to check my bank statement, and then I took my happy ass home and had a delightful day. I was about to say. Because that is not my problem to deal with. It's been a while, but I had here's, here's my question out of the whole thing. is Out of all that food you got, did you eat it all? Uh, over time, yes. <laughs> oh, God. It was... Uh, in, the, in, the, in a span of 24 hours? No, it was... It, well, no, it's in 24, yeah. Because I ate, like, two things that day. So I ate the $5 box and then, like, one meal that day. Then the next day I had breakfast Taco Bell. <laughs> and then I had, like, lunch Taco Ew. Bell. So, yeah, in a 24-hour period. Breakfast Taco Bell? Yeah. That's disgusting. Now, see, I- I've had similar scenarios. Bro, it's food. Quite a lot. You can't hate on food, man. Yeah, I can't can. assert, like, at, in the morning I'm not having tacos. I can say like that right now. Why, Why not? not? What's wrong with tacos? Why about breakfast burritos? No, I, like honestly, I'm not even the biggest fan of breakfast burritos. I'm just kind of. Eh. Do you like omelets? I love them. The same thing, except the tortilla is an egg instead of flour tortilla. <laughs> That's the only difference. No, you have the same gubbins on the inside of an omelet than you do a That's uh, breakfast burrito. I no. had the same type of luck one day at McDonald's. Like, I remember I had just enough change to, like, get a 99-cent biscuit, you know, like a sausage biscuit. And I, like, went through the drive-thru. This was a long time ago. I didn't get 20 bucks. You did. I, like, ordered my sausage biscuit, paid for it, went up to the next window. Next thing you know, I got this big bag in front of me, and I instantly know it's not my shit. I'm like, okay, bye, you know, and I leave. (laughs) And it's got, like, two – it's got a big breakfast. It had two hot cakes. Uh, with sausage meals, and I had like three or four different biscuits in it with hash browns for it all. So, oh my god! Well, anyway, I've, I've never <laughs> on that experience. note, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get a quick bite and refill my drink. So, guys, don't go anywhere. We've got a whole heaping full of second helping, second plate for you guys. So, don't go anywhere. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Welcome 
Welcome back, everyone. It's Big Boss here, and gotta say, tried uh, just tried a quick round of uh, Radical Heights, and uh, first time playing, got a nice place. Not gonna lie, kind of fun. I can see the appeal. It's like a faster paced uh, PUBG. It's in the middle. It's between Fortnite and PUBG as far as like speed and pacing goes. I approve. It's one of those games that, you know, it, it, yeah, it kind of follows a similar formula that the other ones have, but it it has its, it has its niche, if, if that makes any sense. It has a, it has its little hook. I, it's, it's fun. It, it was genuinely fun. Like, I genuinely had a good time. Now, keep in mind, it, it does still need work, though. It's not, like, completely ready to roll or whatnot. I mean, keep it, it is There's a really working project. There's missing textures. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> there, it does need some work, but... There's whole sections of the map that aren't even safe zones where it's like, get away! We're not done working on this part of the game. Yeah. Shoo, shoo you will die. Oh, but for, for what it is right now and, and going in, it's... It's actually not bad. Like I, I can see the direction is going, and if they keep it going that way, and put you know further development into it, it could actually be really, really good. It's fun enough for me to put fifteen bucks into it. Yeah, like for the founders pack. Like from playing that one game, I can honestly see the appeal. Plus, I got like six kills. People, I don't know who's playing that right now, but the people say hackers are a thing. Like. No, they just suck. Like, people just sitting there like, pew, pew. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop it. Let that be a lesson to you. Uh, but anyway, got some uh, interesting new Sonic fans, uh, Sega fans, I should say. Uh, they're going to make a, a Sega Mini drive. Like a yeah, Mini I saw Sega that. Genesis. Yeah, I saw that. Kind of. And also, like, a shit ton of Sega games are coming out for the Switch as well, which I'm kind of yeah. excited about because I like my Switch. They're doing the, a lot. those under the Sega Ages, which I think have been on uh, running on Steam for a while, if I'm correct. I don't know if they're on Steam. I just want them on Switch. The more stuff you can get for the Switch. The Switch, better. the better, I, yeah. I love the Switch. Like, real talk. I, I, if I can get Fortnite on the Switch, or if I get Radical Heights on Switch, that'd be fun, too. I live under a rock, so it, it's okay. I can see them like actually making. I I can see Radical Heights actually being a Switch title if they really, really wanted to. Uh, I could see it too. It's not too graphically demanding. No, it's very '80s style. You know, it's super '80s, dear lord. The the Jerry curl, like my guy. You see the you see the ending of it with the Afro Jerry curls. Like I got you. <laughs> you see. You've seen the ending of it, right? Like if you like when you win, you get the um, you're the best around music. No, I haven't. I I, I literally played one match during the break. <laughs> it literally and like it. when you win, it like you stop and like this light shines down on you, and it's like you're the best around. And then they start going into the whole music from that. <laughs> oh my god, are you for real? Yeah, dead serious. It's, Have you already won, or did you watch? It's somebody? pretty. It's pretty fun. I won one. Uh, but it, it's it's pretty funny, dude. Like it's just like because like the match like is like closing in, like the zone's closing in. And you get to like this little white spot, and it's just like the light shines, and then that music like it pauses, like your character pauses, and like that music just starts blasting on your screen, and like it even has the words like written across the screen. It's like you're the best around. And I was like, oh my god, this is great. Well, I mean. Taking that aside, that does sound really cool, but we got to talk a minute about the other Battle Royales. Um, so did you hear PUBG is having a new map coming out? It's supposed to be in the jungle, and it's supposed to be a smaller map, too. Yeah, I heard it's supposed to be some, like, uh, I feel like, have... like small. Are they going to have Welcome to the Th Jungle as a theme song for that map? I don't know. That's a good uh, question. Pretty cool. Probably not. Yeah, you, know, you know how bad people are going to be camping in that, man? Like in the woods? Well, uh, be like a monkey. Be death from above. <laughs> yeah. That monkey would be death. great. Come I know, monkey strike. <laughs> I, I know, I know the, uh, 
PUBG tweeted out like they were looking into something like a uh, squad based uh, points where like you would actually respawn until a team had like 500 kills or something. To- uh, they've already implemented that in the. Okay. Uh, the it's called like the unlimited strike or something like that. Yeah. It's uh <clears throat> it's essentially the same game, but you keep respawning till the circle still narrows down. You keep respawning and like I think you get like five lives or no three lives. I want to say that would suck if you respawned like way outside the circle. In the Xbox, no, you're in the plane, so you can too? drop anywhere. Say what? In the Xbox version, you're supposed to be getting like the new map on uh, release as well. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get the desert map. Miramar sometime at the end of May. And boy, howdy. If you think getting sniped out in the open was a pain in the ass before, wait till you try old Miramar. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, because they have the SUV and other new vehicles. You got, was it like the repeater rifle and other weapons? No, what I'm saying is you have fucking zero cover. You're in a desert. Building. Yeah, that's okay. saying it's, it's, it's got, dirt and rocks. Uh, I, uh, I mean, if you have a shovel, I mean, you're kind of okay. You need to get a hole. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no joke. I won two games. Like, there's this one hill that has these three little tiny rocks, and they're just big enough if you lay prone. Like, you got to take your backpack off. You got to lay naked. And you can just have enough to get, like, a little, like, little cone of view through two of the rocks. And I just sat there the whole game. And well, went. now everyone knows your strategy. You're doing yeah, yeah. good job there. Well, well it, I people strategy the first time I won because like there was four people around me using the rock as cover, and I was in the middle. No one bothered to look inside, like in between the rocks. They were like <laughs> moving around, I like they sh- I let me guess. They're all straight rocks. Pretty much. They're like, they're all, they're, looking, they're all looking for the other person crawling around the rock, not thinking that there's someone not moving the whole time. Oh, the best part about it was if, like, because you can hear people shuffle, like, if you move a little bit to the left yeah. and right. So I would just shuffle a little bit left and right, left and right. And then you'd hear footsteps, doo, 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 the running, and then you hear, like, sniper, like, suppress fire going, pew, 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 like, every which way. And I'm just sitting in my rock, 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 rock. You know, you, 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 if you're just sitting there the whole time, and everyone knows, play on this, right? Of who's in the game match. Say what? There's like a player list of who's in the match, right? No, no, no. it's oh. not until not till the very end. Like there's like a count, but you don't know who or what teams or how many kills or anything. You uh, just think that, you just take an there's... educated guess, but that's about it. Yeah, you just know there's 26 people left in the match, or however, you know. Still, so, still, so it gets that gets to a certain part where it's like, hmm, I'm pretty sure there's this guy. I him, but he keeps killing things. Where the hell is he? <laughs> pretty uh, much. It, it, yeah. it is glorious to see, though. It, 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 it was such a blast, because I had a little sawed-off. Because there's a sawed-off shotgun in there. It's the most garbage thing at any range other than, like, in your face. So I just pop up. Shoot somebody, Sorry. hop back down, <laughs> and then I hear the shuffle all over again. <laughs> gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. There's someone over here. Oh Sorry. my god! Oh. Wow. Uh, let, let's see what else wow. is new. What else is new? Um, did we talk about the Lindsay Lohan thing yet? No, not yet. That's the other failed lawsuit. The what? Uh, you remember back in the day when Grand Theft Auto V came out? Yes, uh, all the way back yeah, in 2013. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan tried to sue Rockstar Games for over like, using like her a, uh, likeness. Yeah, for like because, they, she tried to say they 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 used her likeness or something like that for like one of the yes, new the stars. character, yeah. the, uh, the one who was Peggy. getting banged in the back of the of her house and was seen by because you had to take paparazzi photos of her. Yeah, yeah, and then the the girl on the cover in the bikini is the main thing, though. Yeah, also that one, which happens to be the uh, star, supposedly from the mission. And there's another mission where, like, she's being chased by the cops in Europe. But anyway, um, but apparently she lost that uh, lawsuit. Yes, yeah. judiciously, it was yeah. amazing. The the ruling basically is that GTA makes fun of everyone, and the, there's nothing there specifically targeting her because. Uh, other female celebrities 
of uh, have had uh, incidents of a similar nature, is how the courts put it. So, in other words, <clears throat> you're a celebrity, so you must suffer. Yeah. Pretty much words, you need special. I, I can get behind that. <laughs> I'm okay yeah. with that. New York's New York uh, Supreme Court said you're not special. <laughs> you're not that much of a snowflake. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, Although I yeah. think they have, like, another lawsuit going on. And then there's... Anything that's good is being yeah. sued or banned, let's be honest. Well, was it real fast? Uh, GTA 4 will be losing music here soon. Well, it's just because they lost the rights to use the yeah. music. It's such an old game now. Yeah, it's 10 years old now. And to a certain period of time, and GTA 4 came out many, many, many years man, ago. Yeah, it's, it's 10 years old, specifically, uh, coming up at the end of May, and most of the music that the game is losing actually is from the Russian station, so... Um, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the... Uh, was it, uh, there's that theme song you first hear when, like, you come up. Now, I think that one's staying in, like, one or two others because they're used in missions. Like, they're going through the effort to keep those. But a lot of the music from that channel is going to get replaced. So, And I don't know if that's going to affect console. It may only affect PC. They had similar issues back when San Andreas hit 10 years old. It didn't affect the console versions, but it did affect the PC. I remember San Andreas. I've got it from a PS2 downstairs somewhere. Yeah, well, just so you know, the San Andreas on uh, PC as well as the newer like uh, PS4, PS3 downloads have slightly different music compared to the original version. Uh, fans back then threw a fit only because it wasn't announced in advance, so Rockstar made the kind of went out of their way to tell people about that with GTA 4. Now, what I don't part. understand is, like, if it's on the disc... Why? Why get rid of it? Like it's there. It's done. GG. Yeah, I think. I th- again, I think that's mostly a PC yeah. effect. Yeah, because my PS2 has never been hooked up to the internet. So, yeah. and it's 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 a it's a Blu-ray. Yeah, that's just it. Like I'm DVD. No, 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 it's DVD ROMs, nonetheless. But still, well, like I. Ha- um, are you just going to come into my house and rewrite it? Yeah, I mean, I still yes. have. I still have my <laughs> physical copy of before, so I'm sure right. I could. Can you install. imagine the balls on those people? Like, if does he get a oh, man? Knock I'm, just having, I'm just having an image of like Rockstar hiring like a mercenary SWAT team. He's like, boom, boom, boom! Extract the disc, extract the disc. <laughs> Gunfire in the background. Hit him with the billy club. Hit him with the billy club. So you agreed to this in the terms of service? Like some guy whispers in your ear. <laughs> I bet yeah. my parents bought this for me. Man, here's the thing. I don't think it would be Rockstar sending the people. I think it would be the music industry sending the people. You're right, actually. The music industry is very super tough on that stuff. Yeah. I mean, from a music background, that's actually <laughs> that forces that shit, believe it or not. Excuse me. Wait, what? Yeah, when I went through music school, um, we have to do music management courses, or at least oh. it was optional. And there was always workshops where we brought in composers and stuff, and we had to go through the ASCAP, ASCAP. I but thought you good. said military, like something military. I was like, you got to go military training? Fucking no, no, no. ASCAP, ASCAP is the American Society of Posers and Performers, I think it's the acronym. What's short for? They pretty much rule on everything in terms of copyright. Um, and, of course, every country has slightly different rules when it comes down to composers. For example, in Canada... I can freely distribute and download stuff by Rayvon Williams, who died in about the mid 20th century. However, in the United States, you can't because it's the life of the composer plus X number of years, and they're really strict about that stuff. You get serious fines for just a simple even download, even hmm. jail time. They're really strict about that, but because of copyright issues, and there's been too many cases throughout history of where, hey, look at my beautiful concerto. No, it's not. I ripped that off me when you were a roommate. And it's big money, actually. It's really super big money. And just imagine if, say, someone like Justin Bieber is accused of copyright infringement. Like, how huge would that case be? And there's, and there's always one that pops up, I swear, every month somewhere in the world. What was it? Um, it's big money. Oh, God. Uh, what, uh, when you Blurred said Line. that, I just thought of the Nicki Minaj. Big money. No, no. <laughs> uh-uh. no was hey. it? Blurred Lines hit, had that problem. Like, um, 
the one like what was the guy Kyle? You you got to know the story better than I do. But uh, the guy that did the song Blurred Lines, what was his name? Blurred Lines. Yeah. Oh, the Marvin Gaye thing. Yeah, um, Marvin Gaye's is Bruno name. Mars. Is that what his name is? No. Is Blurred Lines. No, that's Bruno Mars. Who did Bruno awesome. Blurred Lines? Uh, blurred. Oh, that's um, the that's that song. Yeah, the fucking Justin Timberlake wannabe. Robin Thicke. Anyway, Thicke. Yeah, Robin yeah, Thicke. Yeah. Marvin yeah. Gaye's Marvin Gaye's estate like sued Robin Thicke a few years ago because saying like. So much a song was of an obvious copy of like his music. And he lost and that actually, case too, didn't he? It's it's all yeah. dealing with the concept of intellectual property. Yeah, that's that what just it is. Marvin Gaye's estate won the case. Here's the thing: I have a number of things that I've composed that I have not published because the actual process of publishing stuff has actually kind of gone. But if I hear, you know, the one hymn that I wrote. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that person to court because here's the thing. They're profiting sometimes huge amounts of money off of yeah. my ingenuity. That's why these laws exist. So, you know, some people, when they're like, oh, man, see, Justin Bieber gets some shit. Oh, man, Bieber, it's not Bieber's fault. It's the industry's fault. Well, no, you need to do your due diligence, do research. You know, it's the guy who's doing the suing, oh. he may have an actual leg to stand on. It's like, no, you actually pirated my shit and didn't give – Notice where notice was due. You didn't pay where payment was due. I'm getting no credit for everything I've done. I oh, know. Like, the only reason that stuck out to me is because oh. that was one of the big cases, yeah. like, where it, someone me. actually won, though. Like, other people have sued other artists, and they always claim, yeah. like, like, oh, it was... It's, uh, a, it's a tricky it's, it was It was inspirational, you know, like, it was... You know, it was meant to. It was used as an inspired or a homage. Is what yeah, homage. Yeah, to or be other, honest, those or other methods. Yeah, and those ones are very tricky because it depends on how bleak it is. Well, Robin, Robin's um, Greek attorney used the same thing, but he still lost. I think it came down to like a like a certain percentage of the beat or yeah. or um, lyrics and all that. There, there's a lot of things involved in it and I mean the laws exist for a very good reason they really do and there are some that's like okay this is a little more dubious uh, historically speaking if you went to Vienna during Beethoven's time one of the popular things to do was having pianists literally roast each other on the keyboard Beethoven was notorious for it there was one guy Steinberg it's most famous he thought he was like all that in a bag of potato chips went to Vienna and thinking he could best Beethoven on the he was considered the most virtuosic pianist at his time, actually. Beethoven sat down and he started playing the melody to his to the other guy's recently composed cello concerto and just lambasted it up right and center across the board. In today's world, you get sued for that if you're that profited off that, but that was a normal thing. And hence what you're saying, Ben, about the whole inspiration, right? Yeah. Where's the line? And that things have to go to the courts. Because I think there's big money involved, and it, there's a lot of gray areas still, despite how fine lines can be. Well, I think part of it, too, is... Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Would you say they're blurred lines? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my <laughs> You get a hose head today. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hose head. Really? Fuck off, you hoser, before I start your buff, Lee. Today. I, I oh, think yeah. part of it is... a. I don't. I don't want to say a problem, but is a difference in uh, in American intellectual property laws in compared to other countries, because America, like intellectual property laws, before something enters the free use space, I think is somewhere around ninety or hundred years, but in other countries, it tends to be around fifty to seventy. Oh uh, no, I think the U.S. I think it's Life of Composer. If we're just talking here. It's Life of Composer plus seventy five. I think it's still. Whereas Canada has life plus 60. Some places are like life plus 40, life plus 50. Yeah. It's actually kind of horrible. Life plus 60 is considered standard because, let's face it, after six years, it's a good debt. Really? How are you going to really well, profit off this or your grandkids? Well, so that, that, real, real quick, real quick, real quick, because we're, we're going deep down the rabbit hole on this. Yes, we are. And I don't want to take Sorry. too much time on this one time. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, new game coming out. Brand new game from Bethesda. Starfield. Starfield. Yes, I was telling you about it in the intermission. Starfield. 
Yeah, it's like well, Fallout in space, I'm imagining. Well, that we don't know if the name is Starfield. That's the... Pro- yeah, I was about to say, is that the actual name or is that I, the code I feel like it should be project? a Beatles song for it. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's go back to the uh, beginning here. For a few years, there's been lots of little leaks and hints. Nothing confirmed, nothing genuinely solid about Bethesda working on a new IP. And you have to admit, it's been all hot minutes since I've had a brand new like IP. Yes, um, yes, it has. And other than them saying, yes, we are working on something, like, that's been it. Uh, well, there was real recently here this evening a post on NeoGAF saying that there is supposed to be a big announcement for a new IP coming from Bethesda Gameworks this year that will probably release this year. And the title, as it has always been leaked to be, has always been Starfield. What do you guys think it is going to be? <clears throat> the end yeah, I'm, I'm not a big Bethesda <laughs> fanboy. It's going to be it. some sort of like yeah. RPG, kind of like what they've been doing with Fallout and Sky and Elder Scrolls and all that. But it, I imagine some type of open world space RPG. Honestly. No, no, no. The very simple, guys. There's going to be maps. There's going to be characters. You're going to interact with those characters to achieve certain things for end goal. We, I, I think we've nailed it. Yes, yes, totally. It's obviously it involves space. And stories, RPG elements, gameplay. Like we're going through all, the, like we're going through all the speculation right now. Watch it just be like something as small as like it. Wolf is not for Switch. It, no, yeah. no, it's like it's like extreme combative pinball. <laughs> yes, the, 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 in all truthfulness, we don't. No one knows anything. Like um, the No has already uploaded a video. And with, the fact, uh, and the fact that you with, say like it's going to be a big yeah. game, it's going to come out this year. That doesn't surprise me because. Most of the times when they announce something at E3, it comes out that same year. So. Yeah, they they did the mic drop with uh, Fallout 4. Uh, they did the mic drop with uh, Evil Within 2. Well, they, um, did it, they did like three games that year that all came out that year. And yeah, it was like, uh, it was like Doom, Dishonored, two, Dishonored uh, 2, Dishonored, mic, mic drop. and uh, uh, Wolfenstein. Sky- yeah, Wolfenstein. Didn't they do that with uh, the recent re-release of Skyrim or Skyrim VR as well? Yeah, they kind of did like, that with Doom dude, Switch. The, the games had like eight re-releases. Yeah, on on the <laughs> last. Ga- Listen, Skyrim is eternal. All right, it's like that of Minecraft. It will be for every system. Uh, no, but the next I, I, iOS Skyrim. But do we got to get like next. eight to ten re-releases of the same game? I mean, come on. All right, all right. We've already talked about that past. Let's just do a quick. Fa- I'm just doing a quick fact check here. Um, being Bethesda's recent history, the last game that they tried to hype in advance was ESO, okay? The last few years, they have done a lot of mic drop. They, they still are adding on to ESO. They do have another oh, expansion sti- coming I'm not saying they, they're not. I'm just saying that was the last game that they showed like a year or two before it launched. You know, built, tried to build up hype over the long term. The it, was, years, like, it, it was supposed to launch the year that they uh, announced it, but it hit uh, development snags during the beta test. So they had to push yeah. it back a year to give it time to polish. But the last few years, there were a lot of mic drop moments like, that's the game, that's the gameplay, it's coming out this this year, boom, you know, enjoy. And they've had a lot of success with that. And other than the fact that we know for sure that there's a new IP, and that this leak, which NeoGAF checked with the source before they allowed it to post themselves, said that it co- at least comes from a reliable source. So they were competent enough to post it. It's probably some drunk guy on the dev team. It's like, oh man, we got this game coming out, and they're like, oh really? Like Do apparently, go on. apparently the guy sub, uh, submitted it to Neogaf. They got in touch with him, and while they weren't, yeah, they they don't go into like their source their sources obviously, but like they were confident enough in the source to say that. He's in a position to have access to the information, essentially, is what they're saying. Mm. Okay. So, now, any other question. information is just pure spe- speculation, no matter where, what source is from. Well, it's all we're, this is uh, half our show is speculation, guy. <laughs> no, I'm saying for, I'm saying for this star field as it's being titled by the internet, right? Cars. 
so what is all going on? Like what 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 is the what's what's the word? The, the game you guys are most excited to play? Star Trek. <laughs> the game of life. Uh, yeah, Star yeah. Trek. Because uh, for me, I'm pretty excited about God of War coming out. Like, dude, I can't. Oh, is that the one where they're going like the Norse version? <laughs> yeah. I yeah, can't that, that, that's that, got my Jimmy's Russell pretty good. That Jimmy, does look good. Hell. Comes out Friday. Hell. No, not not my Jimmy's Russell. It's like bend me over. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Well, have you seen the uh, like videos and stuff for it? Yeah, like, the yeah, for it? yeah. I've seen it's. Oh my god! Uh, it looks, it looks it's really for the game of life. Yes. See now, not here's yet. the problem. I need to get a 4K TV between. Now and before the game comes out, because I'm gonna have a child. Oh so no! Listen, I, I, your child is gonna need to see the world in 4K. Okay, exactly. Think of the children. Think of the I children. I either feed child and be responsible and still suffer the set wrath of my mother-in-law, or I do irresponsible things, quote unquote, like getting a 4K TV and then suffer even worse, like World War Three from her. So listen, you're day. forgetting you're forgetting one one crucial thing. Just get copious amounts of debt, sir. Debt that you'll never ever pay off, but but you will feed your child and have oh, no, like never, 4K TV. I've had random business people in my community walk up and say, "I will, I will kill your mother-in-law for you." It's like I don't even know <laughs> you. I'm not even joking on this one. Oh Jesus Christ! You, you, you should. Know, just you know random guy man. Man. The, literally, man, I'll tell you what, man. The FBI you is going to be coming at me guy. now for like. You know but you uh, you put you put up the GSM podcast on a regular basis, don't you? Yeah, we need to talk to you about episode sixty three. Uh, <laughs> no, Timestamp one hour He's, and twenty seven no, minutes. Guys, in. No, no, yeah, no, guys, listen. When it comes to the subject by my of my mother in law, mm-hmm. Kim Jong Un is considered as sane, genius, and truly a great leader by everyone in the world in comparison to my mother in law. I am not joking on that. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> There's somebody worse than Kim Jong Un. Maybe you're out. And it's maybe his mother-in-law. Maybe you and could like <laughs> trick her into a box and ship her to North Korea. And on that, I note, I, I, I literally <laughs> cannot do that to North Korean people. I am not that cool. <laughs> and on that note, we're gonna have to wrap it up today, guys. Thank you all oh. so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our other stuff on the uh, GNL uh, Game Night Lounge YouTube channel. Check us out on our prospective social media sites. And uh, be sure to check out a video we'll probably have up real soon of Radical Heights. Uh, I know me and Factor are probably going to play it tonight. Maybe Blue might play it as well. Try to convince yeah. Brig to play it. I, I uh, literally live on a rock and I'm just preparing myself for sleep deprivation. So, yeah. yeah. Well, see, that's see the, the first step. <laughs> if you don't see me for the next 18 years, you'll know why. <laughs> All right, yeah. guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, there's... Laters.